take, do you take Samantha to be your wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourselves only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. Tate loves a lot of people. There's a lot of people he's touched in his life. He's the most caring man that I've ever met. I can honestly say that you're one of the most important people in my life. If I had to dream up the perfect best friend, even they would fall short of you, man. was a very dedicated student. She led the marching band. She had a lot of, you know, great things going on. And she was a, just a, an amazing friend to me and to everybody in her life. Samantha, do you take Tate to be your husband, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. I take, take you, Samantha to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward, as long as we both shall live. I, Samantha, take you, Tate, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward as long as we both shall live. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness and the covenant we have made with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tate, you may kiss the bride. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Petrides.
There is an old Irish saying that chilly weddings lead to warm marriages. And I literally just made that up, but it sounds good, right? <laughs>